Hello and welcome to Mike's Maths. Thank you for joining us today for this video. Um, the purpose of the video really is to answer a lot of your questions. Uh, many people have asked me about the new Maths GCSE 9 to 1 syllabus and uh, having heard various things people are asking me about why it's more difficult, what's going on, what are the big changes and all this kind of thing. So the purpose really of, of the video is just to, um, to, to in a simple way to go through the changes uh, to try to explain to you uh, what they mean and um, we can go through them point by point really. We're going to start by talking a little bit about the course itself. Uh, we'll then go on to talk about the exams because there are changes in the exams as well. Uh, the main question I get is about the levels because uh, as I'm sure you already know this is this is a complete change and uh, this is where, uh, yes, some confusion has crept in. So I will talk about the levels and how they compare to the old system. Um, and then we'll sort of summarize at the end by thinking about why it's more difficult now than the old GCSE. Okay, why is the new one more difficult than the old one? Okay, so let's, um, let's begin. Let's start talking about the course itself. The new GCSE 9 to 1 syllabus is basically designed to be a two or three year course. Now for most students the sensible thing will be to, to cover it in three years because there is so much work now that needs to be covered. So usually in UK schools we will be doing our Maths GCSE syllabus in year 9, year 10 and year 11. So three full years. Okay, uh, We will be taking exams at the end of year 11 normally and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. The course um, still contains uh, two papers or two, two options. There's the higher and there's the foundation. Okay, so that is still in place. You can either take the higher papers or the foundation papers, the higher course or the foundation course. Um, that's, that, that's pretty much the same as the old system, so no, no real change there. Um, just to emphasize though that the maths course now is, is, is linear. What does that mean? Well, it means that the exams are all at the end of the course, okay? They are all at the end of the course. That normally means sitting them in the summer. So in other words, there are, as we've written here, there are no modules. There is no coursework and there is no controlled assessment. Okay, so that's good news. Um, it's a three-year course and you are assessed purely on how you perform in the exams at the end of the course. Okay, so let's go on to talk about a little bit more about the exams then. Uh, there will be three exam papers to be taken, whether you're doing foundation or higher. That is a change because currently, with the old system, um, there was only two papers to sit, a paper one and a paper two. Now we're going to have three papers to sit. Uh, each paper is one hour and 30 minutes, okay? And also each paper is marked out of 80 marks. Okay, so they would just add the three together at the end uh, and then give you your grade based on how you've done. Okay, if you are taking foundation level, uh, you do paper 1F, paper 2F and paper 3F. If you're taking the higher level, you take papers 1H, 2H and 3H. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, paper 1 is a non-calculator paper. So for foundation, 1F and for higher, 1H. Okay, those are the paper ones and they are non-calculator. Uh, paper 2 and paper 3, you are allowed a calculator. Okay, let's move on then to talk about the levels because this is where most confusion uh, has crept in. So let's start by talking about the old GCSE, the one that we've all been familiar with for years now. Uh, at the top end you could get an A star and at the bottom end uh, perhaps down to an F. Okay, um, the new syllabus, the new 9 to 1, is completely different. Okay, so we get grades 9 to 1. First thing to say is 9 is top end. Okay, so 9 is, if you've got a level 9, that's brilliant. Um, level 1 is the bottom end. Okay, um, now how do they compare? I mean, this is one of the big questions that does come up. Uh, a level 9 is probably greater than the old A star. So it's almost, I mean, people have suggested it's like an A star star. It's like an extra grade, okay? So to get a 9, you're going to have to be pretty brilliant to get a grade 9 or a level 9. Um, 
what, uh, what we think about, if you think about the foundation paper, if you take the new foundation paper, uh, that means you'll get a grade of anywhere between a 1 and a 5. In other words, a level 5 is the maximum grade you could get at foundation level. Now, in the, the old system, the maximum you could get at foundation was a grade C. Okay, now the maximum you can get is a level 5. So people have said, okay, that just means that the old C, the old C is equal to the new level 5. Well, looking at it that way, I suppose that's, uh, that, that's truth. That there is some truth in that. Um, but there is a caveat to that way of thinking, and that is this statement here. New level 5 work is harder than the old grade C work. Okay, an example of that is that um, a, t a topic like trigonometry, okay, trigonometry, is now on the foundation paper. Okay, that means um, that to get a level five on the foundation paper, you you probably need a good working knowledge of trigonometry. Well, in the old system, to get a level C, you didn't need any trigonometry because trigonometry was not on the old foundation paper. All right. So that's just an example. Um, what I'm saying here is that, uh, yes, level 5 work is harder than the old grade C. People will equate them um, because, as I said before, at foundation level, uh, the maximum you can get is a 5, whereas the old maximum you could get was a C. Okay. Uh, if you take the higher paper uh, with this new syllabus, then you'll get a grade, uh, presumably between any, anywhere between a grade 5 um, and a grade 9, or a level 5 and a level 9, okay? I think in some in some quarters they've said 4 to 9, but um, yeah, there or thereabouts, okay? Um, so, um, that's hopefully cl clarifies some points there for you. Uh, the next point then is, why is the new GCSE 9 to 1 more difficult? Well, the bottom line, and the most important bit, is this first answer here. The syllabus is bigger, okay? There is more work to cover and also it's more demanding work okay it is definitely so that there's more of it and it's more demanding they have raised the level of difficulty all right trigonometry as i've already mentioned is a good example of that because they've they, they've put that work on the foundation paper and uh, that is definitely harder work than we previously needed on the foundation paper so the, the point is it, it is going to be difficult um, many schools, I believe, are going to struggle to cover everything that they need to cover. And I'm already seeing this from pupils that are coming to me for extra uh, maths coaching now um, from, from, from schools local in my area. I can see that the schools are, are already, already struggling. Um, pupils are coming to me who are, who are being pushed to do harder work when often the basics are still not in place. And that, that is a sign that uh, the schools are struggling and uh, simply because there's, there's so much work to cover. So this is one of the reasons, um, having seen this problem coming, that I've set up uh, Mike's Maths. Uh, if you visit my website, www.mikesmaths.com, uh, you'll be able to read there a lot, a lot more about what, uh, what I'm doing with Mike's Maths. Uh, but basically, um, the idea is I, I do understand as a parent that uh, a lot of us do want extra help for our children to help them with their maths but at the same time a lot of us can't afford £30 an hour uh, to, uh, to, to pay a private tutor to come and help. So the idea is that from uh, September of this year, September 2016, uh, I should have a full library of video lessons covering the entire new GCSE 9 to 1 syllabus. Uh, there'll be lessons covering the foundation, um, papers and there'll be lessons obviously covering the higher papers as well and uh, the idea is that you could search for a particular topic uh, and just buy individual lessons that you think will help you with those topics uh, also you'll be able to buy discounted groups of lessons for a particular broader topic uh, such as algebra for example and uh, there are other benefits of membership that you can check out if you visit the website the idea is that uh, my lessons will be you know, around about five, six, you know, five to six or seven pounds per lesson rather than uh, paying 30 pounds for, for, for a private tutor. So I'm trying to make it as affordable uh, as I can and, um, and as helpful as I can because uh, you know, I'm going to make sure obviously that all the new work is covered 
uh, in these video lessons and you'll just be able to search a topic and find the lesson that is relevant to uh, the topic that you need help with. All right. Um, so what I would suggest is visit mikesmaths.com, take a look for yourself, look out for some of our free sample lessons. Um, they would be really good for you to take a look at because if you if you check out the, the, the free sample lessons that are on the website, you'll be able to get a good feel for the style of lessons and how I deliver them and the quality of those lessons. Uh, also, check out my exam coaching section. This is something I'm going to be building up shortly as well. Uh, there's one free uh, video that you can watch there right now as well. Uh, the idea of this is that um, I'm going to be putting some videos up on, on the website that talk about exam coaching and exam confidence. And uh, also, because of this new syllabus, because we don't have all these uh, old past papers that we can look at, the exam boards have brought out what they call sample papers of the new syllabus. So what I'm going to be doing is going through those sample papers and um, putting those on the website too so that you can check out uh, and watch me going through some of the new exam papers uh, giving you full worked examples, full worked answers and uh, how I go about it, bringing out exam technique as I go through the paper, bringing out the points that you can benefit from. Okay, so I'm hoping that Mike's Maths will be a, a, a big help to you, and uh, if you use it in the way that you need it, I'm sure it will be. Uh, if you've got any questions, then please contact me. You can contact me via the website, uh, via email. And um, so thank you again for, for joining me for this video, and uh, I hope I've given you some ideas. I hope I've managed to help uh, answer some questions, first of all, uh, regarding the new syllabus. And... Um, and uh, yes, I'm obviously I hope that Mike's Maths can help you in the future too. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you again soon and uh, goodbye for now.